How do you have an actual relationship with God instead of feeling like it's a chore to read the Bible, okay? Pray and do other things. Do you know of a way where you can spice things up with your relationship with God if it feels like a chore? Uh, it feels like a chore because God has become a bore, right? We're bored of God because we don't know God, right? Uh, and sometimes it becomes a chore because we lack understanding to a degree of what it costs to be in a relationship. I can have the desire all day to love my wife. That don't mean nothing. Desire gets you started. Disciplines ensures you finish. I have to love her even when I don't like her. In marriage, you're not going to always like your spouse. That's why you got to find love. Because like, a lot of us, we are so based upon likes because we've been conditioned to, did this person like my post? This person like my video? Like, 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 like. L like love don't got nothing to do with like. Love is factual more than emotional. When people look at love as only an emotional thing, they will not last with that thing. Love is factual. Love is more is deeper than factual. It's spiritual. If I don't under, understand love from a spiritual standpoint, then I will not get to love in a factual standpoint. And my love and the other residue parts of it in the emotional, mental aspect won't even be there long. So when you understand that relationships requires discipline then you will understand what it means for, for reading. Now, now, reading the Bible, all this stuff means stuff. So I work at a basketball camp during the summer, this summer. And one kid asked me, or one kid was doing a drill. We had this kid doing it. We, did, we had all the kids doing a basketball drill. And the kid said to me, Steph Curry don't do this. All they see is the game. They don't videotape practices. Maybe they should start doing that. Maybe people who are successful should record at length, the length of the game, they should record their practices so that people can see what it requires to operate at this high level. No one is successful without discipline. No relationship will endure to the end without discipline within, right? And so when you understand that in the relationship with God is not just a one-way street that all I got to give God is desire, and then everywhere because desires expires. They expire. If, if you if you're running off a of desire, desire will expire. You got to run off discipline if you want to see the end. Right. And so then when you begin to see who God is as he is and begin to understand what are the requirements of a relationship from a discipline standpoint, then you will begin to see the fruit because you don't get fruit out of desire. A lot of people desire to lose weight, but they'll never see the fruit of lost weight. A lot of people desire to be wealthy, but if they don't have the disciplines of it, they will not be wealthy. You cannot have a successful relationship. You cannot have a successful marriage. You cannot have, you cannot have a successful relationship with God. You cannot have any success in these areas without discipline. And discipline must have the prerequisite of awareness. You have to become aware of of what is required. You have to become aware of what's of, of who God is and what is required. And then you will see the beauty of the word of God. And, and you will begin to see that God is not requiring you to be disciplined because he needs you. You'll begin to see how the disciplines build you. And you'll begin to say, I have to read my word because of what the word, the word is active in life and what it does for me and then does for our relationship and does for my effectiveness and efficiency in my purpose and in every other realm. I see for me, reading my word is not a chore. Praying is not a chore because I understand what those things do to me within and how it affects everything that I'm within, how it affects that I'm a better husband when I read. I'm a better husband when I pray. I'm a better husband when I talk to God. I'm going to be a better, I'm going to, I'm already a great father now, but I even have my daughter. So what I'm saying is with all these different things, you become those different things. You become better when you understand him better. And we understand why these things will make you better. And then you begin to say, I got it. I, I, I have to read. Just like you have to drink water. You're like, I have to read my word. Not because of, checklist and the reason why we are bored is because we look at it as a thing we mark off the board i did this today okay good i did that today then you're gonna be bored after a while you're not gonna want to do it after a while because now you're doing this for results most people are doing it for works righteousness i'm doing this because if i do this then i can be proven to be this believer and then god owes me no 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 no, no. it's a i'm a living sacrifice 
I present my body as a living sacrifice. God, I, I do this because of what it does in me to make me more like you, right? And so you don't want to you don't want to spice things up because then you start sweating, and then you start working and sweating even more, all right? What you want to do is just say, okay, God, let me just get to know you in a deeper way. And then when you start getting in, getting that stuff more often, you'll begin to see your patience grow. You'll begin to see all those love, joy, peace, long suffering. You begin to see all those fruits of spirit start growing up in the meters. You know, when they, they, they were down here, you know, and then when you begin to invest in God, it starts going up. And you're like, man, I'm more loving than I ever been. I'm more content than I ever been. I'm more patient than I ever been. And it starts with the disciplines that comes from a deep longing and love for a God that you have been made aware of in a very special way. Great questions, y'all.